As we all know, nothing is better than coming home to a clean house and taking a breath of fresh air. However, the air may be tainted with a substance called radon. The clear, odorless, radioactive gas is the number one cause of lung cancer among non-smokers. Here to tell us more about it and what they do to help are B-Mets of the Mets Group and Jenny Wright, founder of Breathe Right Radon and Air Quality Services. Now, I've heard of radon. I've heard my parents talk about it and homeowners talk about it, but truly, I got schooled on it yesterday. <laughs> I was looking at all these videos. I'm like, this is a serious problem. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of homes have them. And a lot of people don't even know it because it's odorless. It's clear. You can't see it or feel it or anything. And so what do people need to know about radon? Well, the, pro the process typically goes like once we get somebody under contract and they start doing all their home inspections, then that's when uh, the homeowner or not the homeowner, but the potential purchaser of the property will determine whether or not they want to do a radon test or not. I always tell everybody to make sure that they do plenty of research on it mm -hmm. and then, the, you know, like I said, they'll talk to Jenny. Um, um, their website has a lot of information on it. Um, it is a serious problem and it is something that people really need to take note of. There's so many times people have no idea. I mean, I even have a family member that when she sold her house, mm -hmm. she had no idea that they had radon and when they did it, the, the level was over over 50 which is oh really gosh, high is because so it's supposed high. to be below four. four so literally her and her husband and children like left the house until they could get a radon system put in so it is a really serious problem and people don't really realize it and they don't really take it serious so yeah. I'm gonna let Jenny talk from here yeah. more about the whole um, like what it involves in the systems and everything that they offer yeah absolutely. I, th I think first too how does it even seep into your home or the building that you're in yeah so radon actually comes in through the crack the foundation uh, walls of you know the the slab of the home mm -hmm. and so once it enters it can accumulate and then from there that's where your levels can increase so the only way to know your level is to test for it yeah and so how does breathe right improve the air quality of someone's home absolutely so you know if a radon test does come back and it is elevated then we do suggest a mitigation system mm -hmm. uh, so there's several options for mitigating radon which is really important you know to to have that also look aesthetically pleasing for your home. Right. Uh, so once you know we, we do the radon uh, mitigation, we test to ensure that it is below the EPA's recommendation. Uh, and then the EPA also recommends testing every two years from there as well. So mm -hmm. that's important for homeowners to know is just continually monitoring that as well. Yeah, and then kind of to back up a little bit, how do you know if radon has affected your home? Yeah, so again, it's from a test. There's several different options. We use the, the highest Technology. So our test is a 48-hour test, and you can actually see your results live. Oh, that's um, great. Yeah, absolutely. And then we send them to you directly, uh, and as well as to the agent, so that way it doesn't hold up a real estate transaction. But then, as well, if you're just a homeowner and you want to be proactive for your health, uh, there's some other options as well, like a canister that you send off to a lab, or you can always have us come out and do that, you know, 48-hour test for you as well. Yeah, that's really nice. I think to kind of have that on your radar all the time. And yes. to say also during my little uh, research that I did yesterday, <laughs> there's so many ways because you know you can have it run 24/7 or you can send it off to the lab. Yes. But wouldn't you suggest having it all the time to kind of have that peace of mind? Yeah. So there's some great home air quality monitors that you can use as well to monitor your radon uh, as as well as you know uh, we do air quality testing mm -hmm. so we can test for over 250 different types of mold Wow. yeah and so um, my children they both have allergies so air quality was really really important to me uh, and it all started from COVID yeah. when we were all <laughs> stuck indoors and it was you know we saw a need for you know quality air testing and radon mitigation. Yeah, that is so great. And so B, how do you kind of step in and help kind of facilitate that process to make sure that it's all squared away during that transaction? Right, so like I said, it all starts once we get a property under contract if we have the buyer. There are times that I will suggest um, to a seller if they don't have a mitigation system um, and I can tell, that, and they ne have never ever had the property tested, that they mm -hmm. might take the steps to go ahead and have it tested prior to um, even putting the home on the market and then that way they've already got that, you know, nixed in the bud and taken care of. Um, but if, if we're working with a purchaser, we, you know, 
once we get under contract and we start ordering in inspections, we have the radon testing done at the same time. And then once um, the results come back, if it does have, um, if there is proof that there's been, is, there is radon in the home, then we um, request that the sellers take care of a mitigation system um, or at least give the buyers the opportunity to the, the funds to have the opportunity to take care of it once they, you know, have moved into the home. Um, it's always, it, it's once, once it comes back positive, you know, over four, then you want to make sure for your client that somebody's going to make sure that that mitigation system is, is put in. So that's kind of where we come in. We just do negotiations through the buyers and the sellers and get it worked out um, using their test results. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And so when they get that test back positive, how long does it usually take to get that all cleared up? Yeah, so we install our systems. A typical system takes about three hours. Oh, wow. Yeah. That same day. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And and so that's really important for us to, you know, take care of our home buyers and as well as sellers, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, ladies, thank you so much. This is really good information because, like I mentioned, it's the number one cause of lung cancer, and we need to protect our families and, of course, our children, too. Yes. But the, those other services that you provide as well, just making sure that we are all breathing <laughs> clean, quality air. That's right. So, <laughs> so B, Jenny, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank so you. for more information, just visit breatherightservices.com.